All right, so welcome back to White House Farm. Uh, what we're gonna be doing today, we're gonna go ahead and use the apple press. We're gonna press some of our apples and we're gonna make some apple juice and uh, apple jack or apple brandy. Uh, the apple brandy, the whole video, um, that'll be actually a separate, vi separate video for that because that does take a while to do. But today we're gonna show you how to use the fruit press, the apple press here. Uh, you can use grapes and stuff like that in here and uh, basically you're going to feed any of your fruit and stuff into here and you're going to spin this wheel and that turns and it cuts everything up and it's going to drop down into here. I'm actually going to put a bag in here. Uh, I got a cheesecloth uh, that, I, that I'll put in there. I did have a, an, a bag for this. You can also use pillowcases, anything you want to uh, just keep most of the chunks out of there and then we're going to put the top on here and then this presses down when you turn this pushes everything down into here and squeezes all the juice out of the sides and everything it collects down in here and then comes out the hole right there and then it'll come down in here I got another filter in here uh, to catch any of the stuff that does come through and then we'll collect it in our our jar down here so it's pretty simple it's fun uh, these guys are gonna help me and uh, well, let's just get to it. All right, now we get some more going. Yeah, once it's like, the yep. juice is just gonna start going like crazy. Dad, how do you do that? Look at it. Here it comes. There we go. Now we're starting to get some str There it goes. Alright, let the bubbles aside for a little bit. And we'll put our hydrometer in there. There we go. And we can take our specific gravity reading now. Try and clear up some of these bubbles. All right, so it's gonna be kind of tough for you to see, but I'll turn it this way. We're about 1.5. And, yeah, you can see. Kind of tough with this, but there's the 1.5 on there. And that's where it's sitting. So now, so now we at least have our starting point. Uh, from where this is at once we go ahead and add the yeast to it and the Camden tablet um, Once it starts going through its fermentation We'll go ahead and take our final reading later on and then we can figure out what percentage of alcohol we're gonna have in there um, And this would be if you're making uh, like a hard cider or wine, so now that we got our reading We can go ahead and Take that out there for now we could add uh, one Camden tablet and what this does is prevents the bad bacteria uh, you, you start getting bacteria growth within uh, the first three hours of making it so we'll go ahead and pop one tablet in here and one tablet does one gallon so boop, it's in there now we can go ahead and pour that back in Okay, so now we can go ahead and pour our yeast into it. Okay. 
and went ahead and filled up our bubbler. We'll go ahead and cap this here. And now we'll go ahead and store it. We're actually gonna store it in our basement because our basement's uh, right around 65 to 72 at any time. So it's, it's a decent place to store it. Um, and then we'll go ahead and start watching over the next couple days as it starts bubbling up and checking on it. So there we go. so welcome back uh, it's been probably a good five months uh, this has been sitting now it's obviously it's done um, it's done fermenting um, no more bubbles this is actually now at this point if you wanted to you can take this out and decan it and bottle it as wine and you'd have your apple wine and we'll get a sample of this uh, so we can actually find out what our alcohol percentage is using our hydrometer and uh, go from there. And I got some new uh, stainless steel um, siphons here which uh, I've been wanting to get and it comes with its own cleaning brush for it too uh, to keep it sterile and got a whole new kit uh, just because my other one I've had it for so long that I just it was time to get a new one <laughs> and what I'll do I'll leave a link in the description for any of this stuff if you guys want to get it on Amazon you can just click on the link in the description. All right. So all you're gonna do is connect your hose to this piece here. This is a, a single pump uh, siphon. Basically, you put it in, pulls it up, push down, creates pressure, and pushes it out. All right. Now, most important part, we need to go sterilize this. And I use the Seabright uh, for sterilizing. It's pretty good, it's a powder, and you can mix it in with your water. It tells you exactly how much to use and everything. So let's go ahead and get this stuff all sterilized. All right, that works out good, holds it nice and still. And let's go ahead and fill this up so we can get our hydrometer reading. And simply pull up. goofy and then you want to get it to a lower level gravity you can see how that's filling it up obviously the lower you leave it the faster it'll come out okay so now that we got that all cleared off we'll go ahead and drop that in here And we're right at 1.000. It's very important that you get your starting gravity, uh, which for us was the 1.050. Um, so that was our start. Um, and then you're going to take... Uh, the gravity that we just got, which was 1.000, uh, as you saw. Um, and what you're going to do, get yourself a little calculator or on your phone, 
and you're gonna take our starting gravity, which was, yeah, I'll get a little closer. Starting gravity, which was 1.050. And you're gonna subtract your final gravity, which for us was just 1.0000. And that equals 0 0.05. So, now you're going to take the 0 0.05 and you're going to divide that by 0.776. And there we go. That gives us our final alcohol reading. And don't forget, you got to move the decimals two places to the right. So one, two. So that gives us a 6.4432, blah, blah, blah. So roughly a 6.4% alcohol. So that's how you figure it out. And for wild apples, for doing what we did, that's pretty good. I mean, I've had numbers higher and actually numbers a little bit lower, but not too much. That seems to be about right for how we do them here. Um, you know what? I want to go ahead and get a taste test of this. All right. So what's the fun of doing this if you don't have some uh, sampling while you're making it? So... Let's give this a little whirl. Oh my god. It smells like fresh apples. It smells really good. You can see the color of it. It's nice and clear. Like I said, this has been sitting for a while. <laughs> I've been doing so many other things that this took the back burner, but it gave it time to age, so that's a good thing. So. All right, here we go. Wow. Definitely not not sweet like a sweet, but it's definitely tart. That's what I'm looking for, tart. Dry. Good though. Wow, that's really good. Whew. All right. So, from this one, I'm just going to take a little bottle of wine uh, just because I have a friend that wanted to have some apple wine um, but didn't want one of my big size bottles that I made with the five gallon ones. So, I'm going to go ahead and just make this one for him here on camera and you can see where it's being made and where it came from. that perfect now normally you would use this and you'd press it down in here and that tab would depress and it would fill it all the way up and once it gets up to here you pull this out and it'll drop it down because this takes up space so that way you can you don't overfill it all right that's all corked up and ready to go. All right. So now he's got a nice little sample bottle of White House Farm apple wine. Looks so cool. I like these little bottles. And these tops are nice. Just pop right in. Kind of. <laughs> that one had to press in pretty hard. All right, so there's your final product if you're just making the apple wine. And um, it, you, it's all up to you on how much you want to make. Uh, and you can buy apples. Uh, we're lucky because we have our own apple orchard here. So we go ahead and fresh pick, pick them and make our own wines and apple jack and everything. So, um, yeah, pretty simple. You see how it's done. Um, just have patience and make sure everything's... Uh, sterile make sure you clean everything really good and you should come out with a good wine and here we go we got a nice little 6.4 uh, percent uh, bottle of wine now I'm gonna go ahead and 
give my buddy and he could try it and go from there. So I hope you guys like, enjoy, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. All right, bye guys. All right, cheers. You can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf, we'll see you on the next one. All right, bye, Obo. Bye, guys.